When this popped up on my screen and it wasn't going away, I kind of panicked because my 50k run relied partly on these spike drivers. After I reconnected, I didn't see them upgraded and I felt like restarting. But watch how I didn't use these spike drivers to barely get a 50k score today. Hi guys, welcome to Let's Play Analysis. I'm Bob aka Night Angel and in today's daily challenge, August 16th, 2020, we have Vampiric Touch, Wand of Cure Light Wounds, and Strike Hard Meteors. When I first saw this challenge in the morning with several people having a 50k score, I realized that it is very possible to get it, but it's definitely more difficult than yesterday's challenge. So this is my first run. I try to use the spike drivers to deal with Seraph and they just don't do enough damage to kill Seraph really quickly. I then realized that if I duplicated a bunch of holdover Bramble Lash, I should be able to kill Seraph quite quickly. And that's this run here. There's nothing much to talk about in the early stages, so I'll jump in when there's an important choice to make when the run gets there. I'll leave the full run here and not cut out any choice making because I do know that some people are using this as a guide to get the 50k score achievement. Picking up the spike drivers or not is totally up to you. They are only good in the middle stages and won't help you with Seraph himself. I chose to take them because at this point, I thought that they would provide some help, right? Nope, they didn't.
After I picked up this quick upgrade, I can now start duplicating these spike drivers into my deck. And it'll be great. At least that's what I thought.
For this fifth stage, I ran into the same problem as so many of my other daily challenges, and that is not having enough damage and health. I tried twice, but I just couldn't stack up enough rage or HP to kill the boss on the bottom floor, so I ended up with a 2 turn boss rush. I thought that it's just 300 points, I can make up the lost points on Fel and Seraph. However, when this happened, all my plans just fell apart. I didn't have enough damage for Fell because these spike drivers were supposed to kill Fell. I didn't have enough Bramble Lashes to kill Fell either. I thought about restarting and do a new run, but part of me thought maybe I can get the event again after I beat Fell. And so, I went on to fight Fell.
As expected, I got this 3 turn boss rush on fail because of the lack of damage. And maybe also as expected, I didn't get the event again. So now I'm left with a bunch of spike drivers that are kinda useless. Are they completely useless? No, but they could be so much better. At this point, I was seriously thinking of restarting. But then I thought that it's just two more stages, and if I don't use these spike drivers, it should be just fine, right? At this point, I have three Bramble Lashes in my deck, two of which are holdover. This seventh stage is not difficult at all, and all that's left is Seraph. I chose to go duplicate another Bramble Lash instead of going to the Merchant of Magic because the Bramble Lash is the key to victory for me here. My whole strategy is revolved around these Bramble Lashes, and so with that in mind, I set off to face the final boss. In this first attempt, I placed down all of the spike drivers so that they won't clog up my deck. However, Seraph kept on going onto those floors with the spike drivers on it because he wants to sap those spike drivers on those floors. I then realized that I can take advantage of the Seraph's mechanics and just have my champion and the icy cellophyte to set up only one single floor. And this was this attempt here. This way Seraph has to come to this floor every other turn. 
I set up on the top floor because it's the farthest away from all of the other enemies and I can avoid dealing with them for a few turns and just focus on Sarah. And that's how I finally got a 7 turn boss rush on Seraph. This was a really close run since I also had to have above 800 gold. It was a good thing that I didn't buy anything before fighting Seraph, otherwise I wouldn't really get a 50k score. This run is a great example of how I shouldn't have given up even when God didn't really want me to succeed. If I had restarted after that connection issue, I wouldn't have a great run like this and would have wasted a lot of time. Here are some of my previous 50k score daily challenges, some of which are also really close ones. So head on over and I'll see you over there.